I'm back and I think I need to I need to set my mind at ease here and do the front of the body I think the back is looking okay it's touched dry it's come up a got a nice color really quite a shiny shiny finish at the moment so that's good I think all of it's covered as well which is good so that's kind of we're out of the woods there the color we've got is the color and it's not too bad there's okay so I've got some patches here which um, are a little bit weird looking but that's not too bad so I really just want to get on with this and get it done um, so that I know that it's not completely terrible um, so I have lacquer I have um, I have a brush I have some dust which I'm going to try and get rid of and I have to get on with this um, because yeah otherwise we're never going to know are we and why <laughs> I suppose there's no point putting loads and loads of coats on if we're just going to have to sand them all off and it's all going to change so here we go I guess we always paint it black right but I don't want it black I want it wooden coloured like this so here we go one last one last make sure the paint brush is clean stop panicking and go for it so I'm going to get quite a lot on this brush so I'm not doing the spray this time this is just going to be laying the lacquer on with the paintbrush floating it over the surface like I was told and we'll see how we get on um, so if I start here oh god <laughs> okay so I don't know whether those there are whether that's too much I just need to go for it and I'm pulling off some stain some stain is coming off I'm trying not to overlap just lay it on reasonably thick um, and not butt up against it I, don't know, I should have gone across the whole thing I can see it lifting in places I'm just going to try and get as much coverage as I can Ooh, try and drip it as little as possible he says dripping it um, and try not to overlap and I'll just leave it as it is um, that might even be enough I think I, I don't know whether I can really get in I suppose I could use the small paintbrush but I don't know whether I really want to or whether I should and um, I suppose I could get the small paintbrush down here down this bit here um, oh, so tempting to go at it again isn't it I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's just I'm used to painting where you just go kind of again and again and again. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, that's silly as well. It's not working. No, no, no. Um, oh, I really don't like this. I don't like this finish at all <laughs> I think it's I have a horrible feeling that it's doing something nasty up here where this is sitting I'm gonna have to discover now that it's doing something naughty yeah it is oh god what's it doing let me smooth that down okay you're with me here while I just break all the rules of this game It's all going on now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Isn't that even? So if you were looking at me, you'd see that I've completely screwed this up. <laughs> um, I'm not crying yet, but there's patches where it's just not blending at all. Um, the colour's quite pleasant, but yeah, there's patches where it's just, it's, I could see it was, how to describe it, kind of, the colour is streaky. I don't know whether that's something I can, can you be more aggressive with that? Blend it in? No, this, oh, I think I was better off with that stupid, that stupid spray brush. Not spraying approach because this has um, this has not worked out I mean I think it was already is already the case that it was going to go wrong um, don't know how you solve this because yeah there's kind of a tide mark down here 
Maybe that's a good way to describe it, which I don't seem to be able to move. I'm going to just try and jiggle this around a bit. Yeah, there's just this this tide mark there. Where it doesn't look too bad in other places. Is it just the kind of thing that you just keep going at it and smoothing it? I'm sorry, Mr. Man from Tone Tech. I know what you told me. I know what you told me. I didn't follow through on your your wishes. Right, let's just try and lift some of this. Bits of it here that are just too thick. I'm just going to try and remove some of that. And smooth it back in again. Let's have a quick look. Just gonna see whether I can can I rub it in with a finger. Just wondering whether we can use our silky smooth staining skills to try and Yeah, I don't know why that's done that. That's really weird, isn't it? I don't know why it's sort of clung on like that. Is that, is that coming out? It might be coming out there. Answers on a postcard, please. So it's now turning into kind of stained lacquer. But that's actually, okay, right. I think we're on, we're on course here. Let's, um, let's continue with that approach of just scratching at it a little bit. Giving it a rub, just scratching at it a touch. Okay, okay, we might be. This is how all the best finishes start, right? Okay, I've got the worst of that one out. Let's just try and find any more. I know there's one up there. Okay, well maybe this is a kind of a tinted lacquer coat. Oh God, don't leave that too long. Smooth it across, smooth it across. Okay, there's one more happening up there. So all I'm using is just the glove. I'm just using the latex glove to try and do this, just to keep my fingers off it. But it's kind of, yeah, there's a ridge. There are ridges in the lacquer. And all I'm doing is just kind of scratching at them, just to try and knock them down. And steal that stain away. Maybe this is the way to do it. We're just applying the lacquer with a and a rub, and just accepting that some of the stains going to be wrong. Because the colour that's coming out is actually, again, it's quite a nice colour, <laughs> but it's not what was on there in the first place, is it? Okay. So I've just got to try and keep the keep the stain even now. So I'm not getting weird results. It's going to be ridged. We know that. It's a paintbrush. It's going to leave it ridged. I'm just going to deal with that one in the middle there. There's a little... Oh, you are in the picture. Yeah, you are seeing this. Good. Sorry. <laughs> Panicked for a minute there. I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. Good. Okay. So that's not quite so bad as it was. I'm going to grab the other glove and actually put it on properly. I think what I need to be doing here is you know, just attacking, attacking, gently manipulating. Is that the wrong side of the glove? Sorry, speed this up. It's always footage of me putting gloves on, isn't it? one finger in here. There we go. Okay. Right, so I've got issues around the edges here. I'm going to try and push the varnish, push the lacquer down, try and smooth it out around the edges. Otherwise it's going to ridge up and it's going to be horrible and bumpy. So 
going to try and get it off there and onto some paper. Otherwise it's going to go manky and horrible. Um, right. I just need to remove some of that excess and then get back in here. Just smooth it along. I think I might need to bring in that other brush. So at the moment I'm trying to get the direction of the so you can't see the transitions in the um, in the stain. So I need to also go back and just give this a scratch. Try and smooth this bit out here. Or it gets two settlers. I don't remember exactly where the pick guard is going to be here. Well, that will be saved by the saved by the pick guard on this part. Like I said, I'll be glad when this is uh, when this guitar is all covered. Oh, look, I'll put a splotch in it. Right. Okay, potentially the most unprofessional bit of waterborne lacquer application you've ever seen. That's terrible, isn't it? Oh right, okay. Looks like it's got black binding now. Oh, what's happening there? What is happening there? To have moved on to the side now. <laughs> Just realizing I now can't put it down if I. Uh... Slowly crumble here. Crumble in the face of waterborne lacquer. Okay, let's get that pool of lacquer off here. Okay, we've got a real issue here. This is terrible looking. That's all this some kind of gunky, gunky mess there where it's run down. Well, it's a learning experience, isn't it? When this guitar ends up looking terrible, I'll know why. Never again, never again will I. I did hear this the wrong way, this I don't think, oh god it's coming out of the holes now as well. Get back in the holes. I suppose they don't matter too much do they? Right, okay. So that passes a guitar, maybe. Okay, I think I've daubed my mark on just about all of that. Okay, um, I've got it running out of here. Right, we need to stand it up and hopefully, oh, what have you done now, lacquer? We've got a bright mark. Oh, look, the sun's come out just in time to show off my handiwork up here. I don't know quite how we can use it like a stain. Yeah, so please don't take this as me 
saying I won't use the tone tech. Yeah, this tone tech that I've fault. This is me entirely. This is entirely my fault, I think. Oh, I know. It's entirely my fault. Anyway, right. Oh, I've got the lacquer on my hands. I've got the stain on my hands. I've got it all going on today. I don't know what we're going to do about that up there. That's terrible looking. It's just it's running and dripping on me. Yeah, so much easier with a spray. A spray gun, I'm sure. Just trying to break this up down here. Take those ridges out and blend it back together again. Oh no, it's, it's coming out, it's coming out, it might work. It's a pity I can't put it down, my arm hurts. So yeah, while it's soft, take those ridges out and then we'll get the... Okay, I think we have to give up there. Because yeah, my arm's going to fall off. So, I mean, it's not terrible, it's all wobbly and ridgy, but I think we just have to go with that. It's quite bright on that side where I've just smeared out those two dots. But other than that, I think, you know, it's just gonna be a case of building this up. At least it's covered, right? At least it's all covered um, with the lacquer. There are some dodgy bits, uh, some really dodgy bits, like down here where it's all, can you see that there, where down here? Where it's all kind of, I don't know, almost crispy, <laughs> crispy fried looking. Um, I don't know whether we can do anything about that. I don't know whether I really want to at this point. Ugh. Can I do something about it? Or is it something much more serious? Problem is, again, I can't put it down. It's flaking off. Whatever it is, it's flaking off. How much of the back is dry? Can I sit it on that? Just to rest it on the back, so I'm trying to rest it on the middle of the back. Oh look, I can, I can scrape that off. Is that a good thing though? Maybe. This is the point at which I jump the shark. Can you see that? I'm scraping some of this stuff off here. Just making up the rules as I go. Problem is, is it gonna is it gonna blend back in, or is it just gonna be horrible looking? Well, it's really pretty horrible looking, isn't it? It's wet that. You want for a relic guitar? trying to solve this. Still trying to save this guitar. Or this finish I suppose. Maybe that spray gun wasn't such a bad idea after all. I mean now I'm not lifting any stain either. I'm not managing to move any colour along. So filling in that is going to be next to impossible. Try not to stick it to everything as well. Yeah. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay, so that's the damage at the bottom there. That's terrible looking, isn't it? That looks absolutely horrible. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I think we might have um sorry, there's a bit of a bit of the paper I sat it on as uh kind of low to lick my finger and move that but 
that's just coming off there. That's, that's anywhere it got a bit of lacquer on the paper. That needs to come off. Um, yeah, so I got away with the back. That is not good at all. Oh, right. Well, it's time to become a luthier, right? <laughs> We've made a mistake. We've made several mistakes. Um, how do we rectify them? Not doing what we just did again that's, is a good one. Um, yeah, so you can see there, that's just terrible looking at the bottom there. That's horrible, horrible, horrible. But yeah, I don't know quite how that happened, whether it was just all the gunk, maybe I was moving gunk this way and it's just all built up at the edge um but i'm not yeah i'm not happy with that um with that finish i suppose we could see whether if we sand it i think it just needs to be sanded doesn't it this is why i did the body first this is why the body was done um first so that something like this could happen and i could just take an orbital sander to it and just yeah sand it out relatively easily i think that just needs to dry this monstrosity, uh, I will take some pictures of it and yes, so we will figure out what we're going to do. But I think I'll be outside with the orbital sander in a few days time when this is cured. Because that's not, that's not good enough, is it? That's not good enough. That, I could do better. I can do better. Um, so yes, I think I'll sign out now with this horrible, I mean, yeah, back's nice. The back looks quite, quite pleasant. But again, I'll know what happened. Um, so yes, I shall... Uh, I shall sign out and oh there's my face oh quite it's quite zoomed in isn't it let's um let's go wide angle yeah so i'll sign out now um and yeah weep silent tears to this guitar which we need to yeah probably strip back maybe it'll add character to it who knows it could be a positive it could be a blessing in disguise um so yes i will catch you at some point soon see you later just as a I just wanted to say, as the after the, as the dust has settled on uh, that uh, episode in uh, staining slash lacquering, um, I don't know. I, I hope it didn't come across in that video that I found the the Tone Tech um, lacquer to be some sort of inferior product. Um, I think, I mean, looking at the back of the guitar, which I can see hanging up there, um, and looking at the test block as well, um, they are fine. I hope, yeah. I just hope that in the video, you know, in the previous part of this video, I don't come across as sort of hating on the Tone Tech people. Um, yeah, that's in, this is entirely my fault. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've got to fix it. So that is going to dry. Um, yeah, we will we will keep the neck unadorned for the moment. Um, but what I, will, what I probably can do, I've got now I've got a couple of coats of gloss on here, and the gloss is applying really really nicely to this. You can see that it's coming up quite shiny. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. You can almost see the camera, I'm sure. But um, that's coming up really shiny. So what I'm gonna do is, I think at this point, the, the spot where the, um, if I bring this in a bit, the spot where the logo will go um, is looking, you know, it's a little bumpy, but I'm not gonna sand it because I'll end up with it exactly the same place as it was when it was, um, uh, when it was um, paint, raw paint without the gloss. So yeah, I will apply the headstock logo to the, um, to the, to the headstock, uh, the headstock decal, um, and then we can carry on applying lacquer to this. Um, so that's, I mean, that's good. We can keep moving, making progress on that. Um, yeah, what happens with the body? I mean, well, with the back of the neck, I'm not sure what happens because it really depends on what happens with the body as to what sands out and whether we just end up, hopefully we can end up just sanding it all back. It's just gonna take a long time if it's lacquer. So sand it all back, um, go through a few, I imagine a few sheets of gummed up, um, gummed up sandpaper, um, and eventually get back to, um, yeah, some bare wood that we can then restain in the same way um, to try and hopefully again match this. And then we'll figure out a different way to lacquer it, whether I whether I buy some aerosols. Um, aerosols are probably the easiest way to do it because that's gonna cost me, what 15 pound each and i think it's going to be at most five or six to do that guitar um plus then i can use them for later or you invest kind of the money in a spray kit so i've got to have a think i'd i'd love to have a compressor in a spray kit but i just don't think um that's necessary yet i probably should you know use aerosols for now um so yeah we'll see about that um but yeah i can do the decal um 
and I have yeah while I wait for that to try I do have a couple of other things that I'll make a video about there's a, yeah, a couple of new arrivals here at Nielsen Guitars uh, which I'm quite excited about a couple of sort of repair slash restoration jobs um, so I will take you on a tour of those um, at some point in the near future um, yeah they're pretty scuzzy it's going to be fantastic um, so yes a uh, bit of a disaster today um, yeah should have just stuck with the spraying it looked like the spraying was going well um, even though it was blobby and blotchy but it still moved it still moved I can see but I'm looking at it now I can see the on that on the back of the guitar there were sort of streaks so they just didn't look quite as bad as the front of the guitar got um, so I will yeah I suppose if I if I carry on talking I can imagine I put some pictures in for you um, sort of close up of the worst bits um, so yeah we had the streaking around the around the base of the front of the guitar I was sorry streaking the place where yeah I don't know what happened there whether it was pulling old lacquer that was maybe curing a little bit it was just starting to go off and it built up this kind of ridge of lacquer which was flaking off when I was um, pushing it around again maybe I should have been pushing it around but it built up this kind of nasty dark bit down the bottom um, which was all lumpy so yeah um, other than that I think yeah we had those we had those little tide marks as well um, which sort of you could push around with your finger but that was very very early on when I, I guess all the lacquer was still really wet so yeah we um, have more uh, more to do on that um, so some hard sanding to be done at some point in the near future uh, I'm trying to think about other jobs I can do on this guitar I mean I could now there's the fret level but I'm, I'm not really keen on doing that until I'm finished just in case I'd rather get the guitar lacquered first and then do the fret level so I think it's it's really just decal logo um, and looking at the guitar yeah that's about it really um, but yeah, as I say two new arrivals watch out for a video soon um, of, of those I'm looking at the box they're in now um, yeah quite excited about getting those out and going through them um, and then we shall reconvene on the um, the SG uh, yeah let's yeah go away and I'll hang my head in shame I mean the, yeah the Tone Tech guys so yeah bottom line Tone Tech product not at fault um, I think it would be easier to spray it it would also be easier to apply it with a brush not over waterborne uh, waterborne stain so a water-based stain I imagine if you were just lacquering a piece of wood if you are lacquering a, re a really natural finish it would come out lovely because you just paint 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 um, it would ridge up then you'd you know layer and layer and layer um, and then you'd sand it back and it would look I'm sure it would look gorgeous and come out really nice because the headstock if the headstock's anything to go by the test block which I can see over there looks really good even with just one or two one coat on it um, or was it two I can't remember it looks really good anyway it's just you know it's just streaky but that's because of the brush um, I think if you're applying it sprayed it would probably be even better and probably even quicker as well but you may waste some um, in the air so yeah let's call it a day there um, and I will catch up with you about the SG kit at some point in the future so I'll speak to you soon <laughs>